Hello, I'm Eric Litchwager, and tonight's episode of Quick Chop, we're doing a potato leek soup, a great summertime recipe, super easy, and your guests will like it. So, really simple. We're gonna start with uh, some basic ingredients. It's, it's leeks and potatoes. And then we're doing a little bit of diced uh, ginger in there, which makes this dish kind of stand up a little bit. Quick Chop is provided by Mission Grocery Outlet in San Francisco. Something about leeks, um, leek, leeks are grown in mud, so they can be kind of dirty. So when you start prepping your leeks, rinse them out really well. You can, you can slice them around the spine a little bit and pull those leaves apart, those fronds apart, and kind of rinse down inside. You know, just as you're chopping, generally as you start to get into this part of the leek, you'll start to see a little bit of mud. So it's good to get that out of there. All right, so first thing, got our pan warming up here. We're gonna get that up hot. And we're just gonna sweat the, uh, the leeks a little bit and soften them up. So a little olive oil on the pan. And some salt. And just gonna wait for that to kind of come up a little bit. Okay, pan should be about hot. In go the leeks. Now, Low temperature on this, because we're not browning it. I don't want it to brown. Because we're, we're looking for a, this is almost, this soup, when we're done with it, it's gonna go in the blender, and it's like a velout, uh, which is like a creamy, uh, smooth soup. And uh, if you brown the leeks, you're gonna end up with these little brownish flakes in your soup, and you're gonna, it's not, not the appearance that we want. Now, when we're making soup, generally you're adding a little more salt than you think you need. And we're just kind of sweating this a little bit. The wine I chose uh, here is this Gnarly Head uh, Monterey County Sauvignon Blanc uh, 2018. So, uh, perfect with this dish, uh, nice and light bodied, so we're gonna give this one a try. A little burst of uh, pear right off. Green Apple Grocery Outlet, the Mission Grocery Outlet. Uh, I think they've got this at $5.99, which is a great deal. Um, so we'll open that a little bit later, and we'll probably incorporate a little bit of this into the dish as well. So Now, good time to add the, add the wine. So I'm gonna add about a half a cup of dry white wine. Again, don't let screw tops bother you. Um, and the reason I say they don't let screw tops bother you is because, you know, they're, they're very environmentally friendly, especially when you are getting a, a white wine, like a Sauvignon Blanc. You know, it doesn't need a lot. We, we're not looking for the aging property of, of a wine like this because these wines are generally consumed fresh. So, you know, they're just looking for a seal to keep the air out, and, and there's no problem with that. Um, now, I'm going to let that cook a little bit because I want that wine, the alcohol on the wine to kind of cook off. Um, that's why I add it first. Pan's pretty, pretty warm, so I want a nice, uh, a nice temperature to get that alcohol out of there. We're just looking for the flavor of the wine, not necessarily the alcohol content. Okay, the, um, I'm gonna just test the potatoes here because, and I'm kind of feeling just with the touch of the spoon that they're not quite ready. Still a little tough. Yeah, it's just, there was just a little bit of resistance and there's still a little bit of translucency to the potato, so it's not, not cooked yet. Cooked probably enough for eating, but not for what we wanna do, which is blending it. All right, so got our blender set up. We're gonna put our mixture in there. And 
just going to pulse it a few times, get it started. Okay, so that's just going to go back in the saucepan here. Okay, looks, looks ready. So now I'm just going to put that in the bowl, ladle it in there. Thanks for watching at Quick Chop at newsupnow.org, and uh, we'll see you next week.